Hello, a quick video to uh, demonstrate the brand new iOS app, which has been completely rewritten to basically include all the functionalities that you have on desktop. Let's start with the agenda, which, as you know, is for you to focus uh, on the day. Uh, what's very nice with uh, the, the iOS version is that you have a snippet of the notes that you took in an event. So it's very nice to see that in investor update, I've already taken a few notes. I can obviously tap to open the event if I want to. I can see the notes, I can edit, etc. But very, very nice to have this overview. Now, the all app has been designed with this drawer at the bottom, which can be extended if you want to have uh, to display more information. But basically the idea is always the same. For the agenda, those are the tasks of the day. I can obviously change days, but also for the week, it's going to be the week. So the calendar is going to be the task of the week and the inbox is going to be the inbox, the task that you haven't planned yet. Now, in the calendar view, uh, what's really nice is that you have multiple layouts. So not only three days, which I think is the best on mobile, but also weekly and monthly. So uh, uh, that's really, really convenient to have an overview of all of your events. Obviously, you can drag and create to create events and schedule meetings, always convenient. Uh, so you can really do whatever you want. Now, uh, the inbox is fairly similar. Uh, the big difference is that we've also added the uh, filtering mechanism, which we introduced uh, a few months back on desktop. And the pages is really similar as well to uh, the uh, 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 desktop app. What's really interesting is that now you can take notes anywhere on the iOS app, meaning in your pages, as you can see, you can create H1 uh, topics. Uh, and you can also create task, uh, call John, and obviously you can schedule and postpone, etc., etc., etc. So it's always as easy. And you can do the same thing in, in, in task and in events to take notes. Now, two things that are really interesting that we've introduced are the plus button in the middle now does not allow to just create tasks, but also take notes and also create events. But even more, what you can do is hold the plus button and drag it a little bit at the top. And you will see two areas popping up, which allows you to basically uh, perform uh, quick actions scheduling, so creating a task and scheduling it for today or saving it in your inbox. So if you do this, it will automatically be scheduled for today. Uh, though that allows you to go even faster for the most common actions. And finally, something that has been requested by everybody is the ability to block time. So you can take a task either in the agenda or in your calendar, and you can drop it wherever you want in your agenda to block time, which is to allocate time for the task in question. As you can see, uh, uh, it looks very nice and it allows you to better plan your days. That's basically it. Uh, and, and a few things will uh, be improved in the future, most specifically uh, the uh, uh, boot time, which is a bit slow. We will be optimizing it. And also, uh, we will be adding the event reminder so that you get notified whenever you have a meeting uh, taking place in just a few minutes. That's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.